Hello everyone. Well, it's a long time since I demonstrated a Miele upright vacuum on my channel. In fact, I think it was August 2013 where I did a demonstration of the Miele S7. And it was one of those very long demonstrations that most people didn't watch all the way through. So, I decided because AO.com had a promotion recently with 10% off everything, I decided to try one of the latest Miele uprights. Now basically it looks very similar to the one I had. This doesn't have quite so many features though. They've taken away the headlight and this has a rotary suction dial rather than the push button dial that my previous model has. And I went for this one. This is the top model. I went for it basically because I like the white the other two models in this range, the U1 range as they're now called, the base model is black. The mid range is the cat and dog version that comes with the mini turbo brush, that's in the red colour. And this is the Dynamic U1 Allergy power line and it comes in a nice crisp white as you can see. So we've got the instruction book, we've got the energy label which I'll read out to you in a minute. There will be some assembly, I just have to attach the handle. So out comes the not very environmentally friendly polystyrene packaging that Miele uses. I think the easiest way to get this out is to put it in the upright position. If it will go in the upright, there it gets clicked, and just remove that. And then just have to remove the handle and the 10 meter mains cable. So the first thing we have to do is to assemble the handle onto the machine. It's just a push fitting, there's no screws to do up. Make sure of course that the buttons are at the front. This is where it actually goes in, just here. So basically just push it in until it clicks, push it all the way down bit further it's quite stiff there we go right that's assembly done the next thing we have to do is activate the exhaust filter change indicator now the exhaust filter is located behind this grill here you just move the flap over and inside because this is the top model we can see it is fitted with the HEPA AirClean 30 filter. Now it has a time strip here which needs to be activated and these filters last approximately one year. You can't wash them, you do need to replace them. So you have to remove this and press this little button here, this little green button. You just press that in firmly with your finger. I think I've done it. And then as you're using the machine, this will change colour to indicate you need to change the filter. But as I said, on average, once a year for maximum efficiency and filtration, you need to change this. So once you've pressed the button, just slot it back in. Push it into place and then when you close the lid, it should firmly seal against the suction outlet or sorry, the exhaust outlet. So this is where the exhaust air comes out of this machine and the exhaust air that comes out is very clean being the top model being the allergy model so if you suffer from any dust related allergies or even hay fever you're getting the cleanest possible air coming out of this Miele. Before I take you on a guided tour of this Miele Dynamic U1 vacuum cleaner, I'll just quickly run through the energy label for you. So it gets a D rating for energy use using on average 44 kilowatt hours per annum. It gets an A rating, not surprisingly, for dust emissions. It gets a D rating for dust pickup from carpets. Now it says it's not suitable according to the label for hard floors, but I know it is suitable for hard floors because it has a hard floor setting. I think what that means is it just failed the EU test, which is a specific test using a specific dust for cleaning up off a hard floor. And it also includes cleaning dust from in between a crevice. 
So it can be used on hard floors and I'll show you that. I'll just do a quick hard floor demo in this video and a quick carpet demo as well before a full demo. But I will show you that you can use this machine on hard floors. And the decibel rating is 80. So that's the maximum allowable decibel rating for a vacuum cleaner sold in the EU. 80 decibels and yes it is 890 watts so that's near the maximum which is 900 watts allowable now for any vacuum cleaner sold in the EU. This is the underside of the cleaner that has the rotating agitator with its own independent motor so this roller can be turned off when you're cleaning hard floors. As you can see it's got a quality metal base plate there's a little rubber strip at the back here that helps to stop debris being flicked from the behind the brush roll when you're cleaning on hard floors. You've got two swivel casters at the front here which help with the maneuverability and for edge cleaning the brushes don't really get very close to the edge but there are these two suction channels either side that are supposed to help with the edge cleaning of this Miele. And further up we have two smooth running wheels. This foot pedal here allows you to lower the machine to the operating position and you can also lower the handle flat to the floor for cleaning under lower furniture. You can also use the machine to transverse from say a carpet to a rug or from a hard floor to a rug. So if you want to lift the front end of the nozzle as you're cleaning, just press on the pedal again and the nozzle raises up and you can go over the obstacle and carry on with your cleaning. On the back of the machine you'll find three onboard tools, a dusting brush, an upholstery nozzle and an extra long crevice tool. Attached to the built-in hose you'll find a metal telescopic extension wand that allows you to clean up high and reach down low so you can clean your cobwebs up high or you could go down around your skirting boards. It's pretty light. You can attach any of the tools directly to the end of the tube or you can remove the extension wand and all the small accessories will fit directly onto this handle. Now the hose is fairly long and from my experience and from my memory, certainly with the previous model, it does reach up a standard flight of stairs. So I will check that before the end of this unboxing and first look. Now I have found with my previous Miele, it's one of the best uprights for above floor cleaning because it's quite a large solid machine. It does stay still when you're using the hose. A lot of cleaners can topple over when you're pulling on the hose but with the Miele it does seem to just stay firmly in position even if you're moving the hose quite vigorously. So for above floor cleaning it is one of the more convenient uprights. It's still not as convenient as using a cylinder vacuum for above floor, but for an all-in-one solution, it's one of the best I've found for using the hose. Now, the thing about this, you can lock the hose in a downward position so it won't topple. When you're cleaning stairs, you'd want it in this position here. So the end piece here moves as you move so it gives you a bit extra reach when you're stretching up a flight of stairs but for general cleaning if you're cleaning around your house with your upholstery your curtains or whatever you can lock it into the lower position like that and then that is firmly in place so even if I pull out the hose jiggle it about you can see we can have a nice game of skipping if you want to, but you can see that the machine stays where it's put. So it's very, very unlikely to topple over when using the cleaning tools. So that is a, a big plus point for me. With the cleaner safely at the bottom of the stairs and the nozzle connected directly to the hose handle, it'll only reach up nine steps. With the extension wand, it's only 10 steps, so it won't clean a full flight of stairs with the machine safely at the bottom, which is something I believe the previous model did do. This Miele Dynamic U1 Upright Cleaner is quite a large and heavy machine at just under 10 kilograms, but there is a sturdy carry handle at the back of the machine to assist you when you need to carry it up the stairs. This is a bagged vacuum cleaner, so you will have to factor in the cost of replacement bags. At the time of making this video, you can buy a pack of four bags from around 10 to 11 pounds. So it takes Miele original U type bags, and to remove the bag, you've got this little collar here. You just pull the bag out. And when you remove the full bag, it automatically seals with this little flap here. You've also got little 
membrane here, little seal around the top to keep all the dust in. What I found with Mila's, whether they're canister or upright machines, the bags are very effective at retaining the dirt, but they still maintain the airflow even when the bag is pretty full. So when you mo remove the Mila bag, as long as you're using an original Mila bag, you will find the dust compartment stays very, very clean. Behind the bag, inside the dust compartment, there is the pre-motor filter here. And you will probably find that that stays clean. I believe you do get one of these with every pack of four bags. So every time you buy a new pack of bags, you can just replace the filter. Just pops behind this green grill here. And then you close that. If you try and use the machine without a bag, obviously the bag door won't close. So you must ensure that the bag is correctly fitted. You just line up the two arrows, just slide it into the bag holder and then push it up and close the bag door. Now they haven't changed the bag door. It's always seemed a little bit flimsy to me, especially when closing it, but I've never had any problem with mine breaking my previous model, but it's just when you initially go to close it, it makes that awful cracking noise. You can see how wobbly it is, but once it's actually locked shut, it's pretty solid. There is a bag check indicator here. You can use that as a guide. It's best to check the bag yourself from time to time. But when the indicator turns red, you've either got a blockage or you need to check the bag or the filter. Just above the bag door release latch, you'll find this rotary control that allows you to control the suction for different surfaces. There are two lights to indicate when the suction motor is running and when you've got the electro brush turned on. Two conveniently located thumb switches allow you to turn the machine on and off and activate the electro brush. Despite this Miele Upright Cleaner not getting an EU rating for hard floor performance, I know it can clean hard floors. So I've come into my kitchen, I've put down a bit of mess and I'm going to attempt to pick it up. Now I'm using the smooth setting on the rotary dial, which is maximum suction. And I'm going to use the machine with the brush roll turned off. So it's just suction only. Right, two passes, one forward, one back. Um, and that really is one example of why you can't always trust EU ratings or lack of them, because there are a few tiny bits of loose leaf tea here, but that's a mark on the floor, so's that. Apart from a few small pieces of the tea, it has made a clean sweep. In fact, even on the forward pass, it more or less picked everything up. So despite the fact that the EU label has a big cross to it on hard floors, you can see that this Miele does clean hard floors fairly effectively. I'm now going to give you a brief demo of the carpet cleaning performance, but this time of course I'm going to have the electro brush turned on. This is only a very short pile, man-made fibre rug. And obviously if you've got deeper pile carpet and you're not picking up rolled oats, rice and loose leaf tea, you might find a different res result. But this is just to give you an idea of how this machine will perform. In my full demo, I'll also be putting down pet hair and doing other debris tests and up to the edge as well. And of course showing you how it cleans stairs and upholstery, etc. But two sweeps, not perfect by any means. As you can see, there are a few larger particles left, bits of rice. And if I look very closely, there's still some loose leaf tea, but there was certainly some agitation there. So it was vibrating the particles to help release embedded dirt from your carpet. So, you know, that is a pretty good job in my eyes.
Well, that's the end of my unboxing and first look at the Miele Dynamic U1 Upright Vacuum Cleaner. I would recommend this machine on a few provisos. Now, as I said earlier, it's quite a bulky machine, so it would suit larger homes with lots of carpet better. And it is fairly heavy at nearly 10 kilograms. So if you're wanting a lightweight machine just to whip around, this is not the machine for you. If you want something that's well-built, solid, and does a decent job on hard floors and carpets, then it's one I would look for. And if you're looking for a bagged upright vacuum cleaner in the UK, there's not a lot to choose from. There's basically the Miele U1 range, there's the Sibo Felix, the Sibo X7 series, and Hoover do an Enigma and Pure Power model at the budget end. There are a couple of other bagged cleaners. There's the Kirby and the German Vorwerk. Uh, but they're both available door to door and you're talking well over a thousand pounds for those So if you have a larger home with lots of areas of uncluttered carpet the Miele U1 series is certainly one I would recommend Thanks for watching. Please subscribe click the bell icon and you'll be notified of all my new videos And if you have any questions about this Miele or any vacuum cleaner, please comment below Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now